So today I'm going to talk about weaning kits and there's a lot of controversy around this and a lot of people like to do it in a lot of different ways um, but we're going to be talking about what I'm choosing to do, do and why I'm choosing to do it. So your kits are going to be emerging from their nest at about the two and a half to three week mark. And it's at this point that you're gonna see that they're gonna be eating pellets, they're gonna be eating any hay or straw that's around, they're gonna be nibbling on their mother's feces. Um, and I'll talk about why this is important in a second. Um, and they're gonna look like they're drinking from the water bottle and like they're independent from mum, but they're not. So what happens in a, a rabbit's gut uh, when they're a baby, very similarly to how a human guts develop, um, is that they will seed that gut with bacteria from their environment. And there's a certain amount of um, protective factor that's provided from the lipase, so like the fats in the mother's milk. And if you take this milk away uh, too early, you're going to reduce the strength of your baby rabbit's immune system and their ability to combat any bacteria that they ingest in their digestive tract. And you'll find that they might get diarrhea or get sick and they won't be as healthy and as robust as if you, um, if you wean them at four weeks as opposed to if you wean them six to eight weeks. So a lot of people will be going, well, you know, if I'm raising meat rabbits, why is that such a big deal? And it's honestly, it's personal preference at that point. Um, you know, a healthy rabbit is going to be a good growing rabbit. It's going to be one that puts on a lot of weight a lot of, uh, quite quickly. Um, but if you're planning on dispatching those rabbits at, you know, the 10 week mark, if that's what you're choosing to do, then you might choose to wean at, you know, five to six weeks when they're independent and pop them more onto a pellet based diet. For us, we're planning on keeping some of our does from this litter, so we want them to be healthy and also we're not breeding in an intense fashion with mum. So what we're going to be doing is rebreeding mum at five weeks and we will start weaning her kits um, a little bit later than that. So we're going to start weaning them at the seven for the biggest ones because there's a lot of size difference in the litter that we have and we're going to wean the bigger ones a week after that so that they have a little bit more of a chance to actually catch up so you can see one's going in there for milk <laughs> she really doesn't like to feed them during the day and they're really persistent because they really like their mother's milk um, we've popped in a little platform in here for her to get up onto uh, for the herd to get away from them because they do you know they, they don't really take no for an answer um, so yes, weaning the rabbits. We, like a lot of show breeders will wean their show rabbits at about that eight week mark. And again, like if you're planning on like intensively breeding and you only have a small population of rabbits to uh, account for what you're producing for your farm, then you know, you might want to wean a little bit earlier so that you can have a doe that is producing more uh, for you, for your farm. But for us, we, don't necessarily want to do that. I know in nature that you know rabbits will get pregnant pretty much immediately. They will abandon their litters at four weeks. And yes, while they may do that in nature, your rate of infant mortality is also quite high. So you're going to have a lot of that litter dying, which is you know why rabbits, because they're a prey animal, breed so frequently, and have a lot of babies and big litters. So our weaning process. Again, as I mentioned, we'll re rebreed mum when the kits are about five weeks old. We'll separate half of them, or the biggest ones, at the seven week mark. At the eight week mark, we'll take away the rest. Mum will then have a week to be by herself to prepare for her new litter. Um, this dough get delivered for us on day 31, so that wasn't, you know, that was a little bit more than the four weeks. Shush, Bonnie. And that's our process. So in the description, I'll pop a link to that article if you wanted to have a look at the science behind what I'm talking about. Um, it's definitely a good read and it's definitely a good thing to consider. Again, you know, there are people who do wean their rabbits at four weeks, but they're much more likely to... Hello. Hello. They're much more likely to have issues with their gut and diarrhea and all of that nasty business. And that's not really what you want because you want to give your rabbits a nice little healthy life before, you know, the inevitable end and they have that bad day. Anyway, I hope that helps.